Hey everybody, Wysel Wook here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the changes that have been to, made to Game Pass in early April 2020. First off, let's start with the games being added to the Xbox version of Game Pass. So, available now is Nier Automator Become of God's Edition, Invaders from Another World Attack Without Warning, Unleashing the Machine Life Forms to Break the Deadlock. A new breed of android infantry is sent into the fray, the Yora Squad. Highly acclaimed and award-winning, Nier Automator is a fresh take on the action role-playing game genre that gracefully blends mesmerising action with captivating story. Also available right now is Totally Reliable Delivery Service. Buckle, buckle up your back brace and fire up the delivery truck. It's time to deliver. Join up to three of your friends and haphazardly get the job done in an interactive sandbox world. Delivery attempted. That's a totally reliable delivery service guarantee. Then coming soon, on April the 9th, we're going to get Alvastia Chronicles. Set out on an adventure in a retro-style world in this RPG with over 100 companions. Two siblings, Alan and Elmia start the journey to avenge their parents' deaths as they fight to stem the tide of monstrous flooding into the world and restore peace to Alvastia. Engage in heated turn-based battles with up to 13 party members, weapon upgrades and battle arena and quests are only the beginning of what the, this Kemok RPG has to offer. Also available on April 9th, Journey to the Savage Planet. Welcome to the Pioneer Program. In this upbeat and colourful first-person adventure game, you play as the newest recruit to Kindred Aerospace, which proudly touts its rating as the fourth best interstellar exploration company. Dropped onto an uncharted planet with little equipment and no real plan, you must explore, catalogue alien fauna, flora and fauna, and determine if this planet is fit for human inhabitation. Onward to adventure, good luck, and mind the goo. Next up, we're going to take a look at the games coming to the PC version of Game Pass at the beginning of April. So the first one, which is available right away, is Overcooked 2. Overcooked returns with a brand new helping of chaotic cooking action. Journey back to the Onion Kingdom and assemble your team of chefs in classic couch corp or online play for up to four players. Hold on to your aprons, it's time to save the world. Again. Then coming soon, we've not got a date set in stone for these ones quite yet, but they are confirmed to be coming to PC Game Pass. So the first one, Football Manager 2020, every decision counts. With new features and polished game mechanics which reward long-term planning and progression like never before, empower managers to develop both your club's culture and your youth team's prospects, as well as your own unique managerial identity. Alavastia Chronicles, Again, that was that's the same as the game that's coming to uh, Xbox on April 9th. So I'll not go through that one again because it'll be the same on the PC version. Also coming to the PC version, Mistova, a mystical RPG with expectations for finding the key to survival. Choose your next step wisely and keep in mind that every move will change the future. Create your own corpse and explore through various regions in the pillar of despair, forest, lakes, mountains cities cathedrals castles and much more then finally coming to the pc is stranger things 3 the game the official companion game to season 3 of the hit original series play through familiar events from the series while also uncovering never before seen quests characters interactions and secrets this adventure game blends a distinctively retro art style with modern gameplay with mechanics to deliver nostalgic fun with a fresh new twist so that's all the games that are being added to both the Xbox and PC version of Game Pass. Now, a quick note as well is the free play days that we've got going at the minute. So the first one is Gears 5, which is available to play for free between April 6th and April 12th. So if you're wanting to try that one out, uh, maybe you're not a Game Pass su subscriber, but you just want to you know, try out the game, uh, then you can do that there as well. And then... Also, between April 1st and April 13th, The Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited, is also available to play for free. So again, you've got a good two weeks on The Elder Scrolls 1 and you get one one week on the gears. Uh, so also worth noting there. Now finally, we'll have a look at the games that are leaving Game Pass soon. Now all of these games here are all leaving on the 15th of April. So there's about a week left now where if you're 
part way through these games, you'll have enough, you'll have time to uh, to finish them. So the first one, which is on the console, is the Book of Unwritten Tales two. On the PC, Fez will be leaving. On the console, Guacamole Super Turbo Championship Edition is leaving. On the PC, Into the Breach is leaving. On the console, MX vs ATV Reflex is leaving. On the console and PC, Prey is leaving. On the console, Samurai Showdown 2 is leaving. And then finally, on the PC, Valkyria Chronicles is leaving. And that's it. So that's all the info for the changes to Game Pass for the first two weeks of April. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, consider liking and subscribing to see more. Wookie, out.